Hello and welcome to my short video. My name is Jason Chong and I'm the lead TSA at BMC support. In this short video, I'll be providing an overview on how to rank the AR server operations in a server group. First of all, what is a server group? A server group consists of two or more servers that share the same database and are designated as part of a server group. Server groups are designed to provide failover operations for crucial operations. They can also provide scalability and load balancing. To ensure high availability of the AR server operations, you can set up a server group to provide failover protection by assigning rankings to servers in the group for specific AR server operations. How to rank the AR server operations. A typical server group will have a combination of user facing servers, one or more, and back end servers, one or more. In order to provide the best possible response to end users, it is preferred to direct all rank operation to back end servers and leave the user facing servers for processing user requests. Here is a list of the available AR server operations. There are 16 operations in the list. Please be aware of the following consideration when ranking. The approval business rule engine and CMDB operations must always reside with the admin AR server. Ensure that when you are ranking these operations that they fail over as a unit with the second ranked admin AR server. Also, if you are on AR server version 9x, the email engine should not be ranked as it is now handled by the service failover feature instead. If you're planning on using FTS indexing on two or more AR servers, please ensure full text index is ranked on each of these designated AR servers to perform FTS indexing. Here is an example of a server group setup. All four servers share the same server group name, server group XYZ, and pointing to the same database. Server 1 and 2 are user facing servers which is designated to only process user requests. No operations have been ranked on this server. Server 3 and 4 are admin servers only, meaning no end users can connect to these servers. Server 3 has rank 1 for administration, hence it is the primary admin server. Along with that it ranks 1 for approval, business rules engine and CMDB which has a dependency on the primary admin server. On server 4, you can see some operations have been distributed across, such as escalation, flashboards, reconciliation, service failover, and SLM collector. As you can see, both server 3 and server 4 have full text index ranked, meaning they are running FTS indexes in high availability. Here is the AR system server group operation ranking form. The first drop down list is the operation. This provides a listing of all the available operations. I would select approval server if I wanted to define that. The second field is a server. This is a listing of all the available AR servers in the same server group. So I would pick 1490. And this is the ranking. I would like to set this to 1. The delinquent threshold. This determines the number of times a specified server can miss reporting its status before the next server in the ranking takes responsibility for the operation. This setting works together with the check interval to determine the total amount of time for failover for any operation. The minimum setting is 2. So I would save that. So once defining the operation, we can double check that if it's been set. Go to approval server, we do search, and here it is. I can see server 1490 has been ranked 1 for approval. Now the next step would be ranking the approval server to fail over to the secondary server. So we've created a new request. Select approval server. So this is the secondary server 1491, which the operation would be failing over to if 1490 happened to go down. So this would be ranked as 2. And we hit save. You wouldn't need to refresh the ranking because you're not changing the current ranking, you're introducing a new one. And now to check that, we can do a search on approval. 
And here you can see two approval servers operation have been defined. You can also enable the server group logging. To do this, navigate to the server information form and under the log files tab, you'll find the server group log. You can enable the server group log on all AR servers in the server group. Here's an example of the content of the server group log. From here, you can see the heartbeat check has been performed and executed in 60 seconds. Here's another example where the secondary AR server has been stopped. You can see in the log that the primary AR server could not contact the secondary AR server with a connection refuse error message. It's possible to check the ranking at the database level by running the following SQL query in your database client. Here's what the SQL output would look like. It would output the AR bulletin board. The bulletin board serves for all servers in a server group to record the existence and to provide updates about their current status. This table contains one record for each server in the group. Let's take a look at each column within the bulletin board. The first column is server name. This is the name of the server used to send requests through the API. The second column is server port. This is the port used by the AR server. The third column is the interval count. This is a heartbeat count periodically updated to indicate that the server is running. For example, it is a count of how many times the heartbeat has executed. It should increment by one every 60 seconds. If you restart the AR server, it will reset the counter back to zero. The fourth column is the pending signal. This is currently pending signals sent by other servers in the server group. The fifth column is the cache peer listener port. It is the port used by the EH cache to send RMI replication signals to remote cache. And the default is set to 4001. The op flags column lists all the operations currently owned by that server in the server group. The next few slides will explain how to correlate these values to the operation name. When running this SQL, it will output the server group operation master records. You'll notice opnum columns are categorized in two ways. First, opnum 1 to 10. Secondly, opnum with the negative 1. Opnum 1 to 10 corresponds to the position of the op flags column. For example, opnum 1 is the administration operation. It is the first position in the op flags column. Opnum 2 would be the escalation operation, which is the second position in the ops flag column. The same behavior is seen till opnum 10. The next category is the negative opnum negative 1. These are sorted in alphabetical order based on the operation name and starts from opnum 11 to 16. For example, approval server would be opnum 11, assignment engine would be opnum 12, business rules engine would be opnum 13, CMDB would be opnum 14, reconciliation would be opnum 15, and lastly SLM collector would be opnum 16. You may notice opnum 6 is set to 0 on both AR servers. This is intentional and it is the email engine and should not be ranked in the ranking fall. This is applicable to version 9x of the AR server. This concludes my presentation video. I would like to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Refer to the description of this video below for some reference links to the BMC Docs page in regards to the AR server ranking. Thanks again.